Now, welcome back to a breakfast. Um, to the breakfast. <laughs> back to a story that we spoke about earlier. We, of course, had mentioned that the National Assembly Joint Committee on the Independent National Electoral Commission is proposing that married underage girls be recognized as eligible voters. Um, of course, there have been numerous reactions from social media, and uh, we've invited this morning, Bookie November. She actually jumped in here. We didn't invite her. Uh, we couldn't chase her out. So she's here to share with us what's going on on social media and the reactions to all of this. Good morning, Bookie. Good, Good morning. See. You do know this is national TV. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I will get you. I will get you. Sorry. <laughs> she was invited. Hey, of Good course I was. Thank you. All listening. right. So what's going on? What are people saying? Our guests weren't too happy with the move. Who is? No, nobody's happy about it. I don't think there's I'm sure there's people who are happy. Well, actually, I got one comment from social media that, tend, that tends to look at it from the religious aspect, saying mm. that um, we'll get there. Okay, so let me just go straight oh, to the comments. Prepare myself up. for this. Um, <laughs> first off is Helen, not of Troy, and she says the question is why are underaged girls married? Why are their husbands not being prosecuted? Now that it is recognized and agreed, no, now that it's recognized and agreed that they are underaged, what level of impunity is this? She's basically very, very angry. Um, quickly, next one is a guy called, uh, goes, his handle is Pedicow on t Twitter, and he says, underage girls, most of whom are forced into marriages, would not have the ability to make their own decisions. Most of whom do not say do not have a say in their communities. Are, the, are these the people whom the National Assembly thinks should be given the power to make important decisions on governance? Interesting. Uh, yeah, so next up is Shege Bobo too, and he says, this is misplaced priorities. National Assembly should first have addressed the reason or factors which subject these girls to help early marriage and not right to vote. The North should put the burdens of the problems they created. The North should put the burdens of the problems created on all of us. Underage marriage is child abuse. The North should or shouldn't. I, well, I, I think he says shouldn't. Yeah. 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 Um, next up is Mr. Y and or Master Y, and he says, "Sir, to be sincere, fifteen-year-old ladies. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Fifteen-year-old oh ladies my God, of I don't, nowadays I don't think you read this. are highly." No, but he said it. A highly sexually active that, that married should be women. Arrested. It should. It's best for such ladies to be legally married rather than doing it illegally. No, Fornication no. and adultery is a sin. We should look for a way to stop the sinful. Honestly, act. you should not read that one. That, 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 those, did you block the person? This is the kind of thing that you break your system. You break your <laughs> computer. Just slam it on the floor. Um, next stop is oh Ibuku Shine. Really <laughs> Ibuku Shine, and he says, "Is underage marriage in our constitution?" Simple question. And I. The guest before now had already explained to a large extent, yeah, Child Rights Act and the Constitution. Exactly. So let's not go into that. Um, Priest Chow says, do married, I like this one too, do married underage boys vote? First of all, do you have married underage boys? No. Because I had this argument downstairs. Would you them. look for money before you marry? To marry is it? So why money? is it, why do you people see now, uh, why do the girls have to get married and then you can't I'm marry? I'm really. not saying it's right, but I mean, look at the way people think. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What's what's the point? The underage boys, who's, who's going to marry an underage boy? Oh. So why so is it underage girl? Because, underage because, girl? Mostly because of the way, of course, society expects that it's the guy who's marrying the woman. That, that's what, you know, mm. it has been like forever. Uh, that, um, that's what we, we are saying. Let's switch the, the, the bar. Yeah. It shouldn't say, even okay. happen in the first Little place. Boys exactly. It shouldn't. But the people that made this law, they, they, they made it out of, I feel like they were very selfish when they were making it. It was, you know how they say patriarchy? Mm. Patriarchy. Patriarch, <laughs> you get. So I feel like that we've still not moved. I mean, what am I saying? We've still not moved out of that way of thinking to a large extent. If our constitution doesn't even expressly tell you that this is the right way to go, if you have to fight to get this sorted out, then there, there, there's a problem. It's a big problem. Anyway, next up is um, wealthy Emma, and she says this is completely another ploy to get undue advantage in the voting process. The title should not have been. The title should have been Northerners want the right for underage married girls, married girls, because they know such obnoxious practice is prevalent in their climate. Basically saying that they want to use this to just manipulate the elections come 2023. And finally, Elvis Bokoa says, when we should be passing bills for innovation, scholarship, and abolishment of child marriage, here we are. 
How can a child of 17 or below be allowed to vote? They are trying to create an avenue to rig 2023 elections to PDT. Well, honestly... apparently, this is not sitting well with a lot of Nigerians. And the most amazing part for me, like I said earlier, was the, is the fact that it is our lawmakers who should be championing something different, that are championing underage girls becoming voters. I mean, to make a voting choice, you have to have a level of maturity. Mm -hmm. You have to know what are the things that you need. What are the things that your society needs? You True. know, we, being a wife is not you know, a wisdom basket that gives you all the wisdom that you need to know which action to take or which action and, not to and take. And being sexually active doesn't give you sex. Anybody it's can not, be sexually it's active. It's not the license to have I'm sex. Really, I'm really um, annoyed, you know, with the person who said, oh, 15 year no, but he, 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 he has his point. He's speaking from his own perspective. Yeah, there are young people who are sexually active um, at a very young so, so age. So there should be yeah. more... Education. Men in jail. That's what it means. There should be more people in jail for sexual abuse. Well, if you're, if you're it, happy that there are 15 year olds who are. It's when you get caught are, committing a crime that you go to jail. Even when you get caught in this country, technicality will let you go free. It's, I guess it's that's really. An, I, I personally, I mean, these are conversations that I don't like to share my thoughts on because I'm going to go into a, a lot of angles, including pedophilia. All right. As reasons why these things are happening across. The, All know, right. The Thank you very much, Buki, for coming on the breakfast this morning. Thank you for having me on the show. And of course, we wrap things up that way. Uh, as always, we want your comments and your contribution on everything we present to you here on Plus TV Africa. For the breakfast, you can share your thoughts on all our social media platforms Plus TV Africa, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, we're on LinkedIn, we're everywhere. Just find us and share your thoughts. Absolutely. Thanks very much once again for staying with us. It's four days of Christmas. Um, I don't remember what my true love sent to me on uh, the fourth day of Christmas, but um, just have uh, all the fun that you can, all right? And, of course, remember, the news comes up at 9 a.m. this morning. I am Usaogi Ogbonwa. And I am Felicity Ezewike. I'll see you in a bit.